play. And I'm back with more Pandora's Tower. Do 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 a little jig. Aha! Bees nest! Ugh. Fuck you. Easy way to kill all the bees? First, throw them. Oops! So that's what happens if you. Come to Papa. Come to Papa. Come to Papa. No! Go over there, asshole. So I think that just happened. Oops. Come on! Aim for the goddamn bee in there. Pull, Aaron! Pull! God damn it, man! Did you really have to do that all all that? Holy shit, man. Stop trying to show off how fancy you are with that shit. Whatever, I don't care. Red doors, you'll see them a lot. Um, I can't get into them. Not until you've beaten the game at least once. What are you fuck? What? I just... Fuck you. Hey, what's that up there? It's mine now. Ooh, things to rip flesh off of. This sword is not as strong as I'm used to it! Hey asshole, go wait for me over there. I'll be right there. Thank you for waiting. Your scheduled ass kicking is now. Ow! You motherfucker! Ooh! What you gonna do now? What you gonna do now? Huh? 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 You're in my town now, bitch! Ah, uh, I enjoy these slash em up games much more than the. Or since I haven't played them in a while. But just gotta. Put them up here. And where am I? The place I killed a bunch of bees. Spin me right round, baby, right round. Like a record. Boom! Goes the dynamite. And your face. Because it's ugly. Climb the stairs of the giant upside down tree. And just wrap this around its face and. Just beat the shit out of it. Uh, excuse me, your face is mine. Easiest enemies ever. It's a big upside down tree. <laughs> too bad you don't get any flesh from them. I don't need flesh. Good flesh, too. And all that shitty other stuff I got. Witch's wand! By the way, items on the ground, you normally can't see unless you've passed them. Hey, water. Alright, so uh, these are places you can heal. However, one fountain is only active at a time. The orange one is for day, the blue one's for night. Day and night. Day and night. Ooh, 73, that's pretty good. Oh, plant food. When I heard we were going to be researching plants, I went and got my old tools for the garden. But they were no use to me. This is no normal plant. The fact that it's mobile as it hunts for its prey means that it can't be thought of as a plant in strict sense. The way in which it gulps at any prey offered, it reminds me of 
m reminds one of nothing so much as a starving beast. After eating, it becomes calm, like our pet dog. Its solitary plant-like feature is that it gets sluggish at night. Like other plants, it seems to need sunlight. There's much that remains to be discovered, but our research should secure a place in the annals of botanical study. Whatever the fuck that means. Alright, going in here. Roses! Silver coins. Funny part is, they don't count as money until you sell them. So these roses are fucking everywhere! Don't get me wrong, I like roses. It's like Yuka's flower guy. It's pretty to look at. Do not touch. So, you see that door there? That's where I have to go. Oh! The ceiling chain keeps the doors of, to the chambers of the masters locked, making sure the mighty beast, beast cannot run amok. This is no ordinary chain, and it is used, made using special techniques only our people understand. No matter how hard you try, you cannot destroy it. One end of the chain is fastened to the door of the master's chamber, while the other is connected to the floor of each tower. To release the chain, it is necessary to smash the point of connection. For safety's sake, the, the rooms where the ceiling chain's connections are housed are distributed throughout the towers as an accessed via sealed doors. The army has the keys for these chambers, but in fact, you can also use our chain to grab the handle and open them. The army promised to give our people another chance, but who knows if they can really be trusted. This is why we have made sure we can seal all the way the masters if we need to. That was a treasure chest, by the way. In other words, see that giant chain? I'm gonna need it. I'm gonna need to break that. Also, I can do this! Whee! I love doing that, honestly. It's a good, quick way. And thus, this is the mass. Is this is where the every master will be held in. However, it's locked. In other words, we have to follow that chain. But we've already seen what they, where that chain is. Ooh, elixir, mine. But the problem is, the roses are in the way. Oh, hey, another red ones are words. We observed a shining selection on the forehead head of the specimen number 87. A piece of master flesh is formed. We had completed work on the master of the treetop tower. The master flesh is the mysterious power source for the master. Our ultimate purpose is to harness this power and use it as a weapon. But just what is that blue-green growth that formed at the same time of the master flesh? It's very soft compared to the other parts of the body. It's exposed whenever the master exerts force, and it's likely connected to the master flesh. Could this be an organ for enchanting strength? There's still much to learn. I look forward to finding out more. So, in every tower, there's a bit of information. There's a book that you have to find that has information on the tower, on some of the monsters, and the master. This motherfucker. You're gonna die! Damn it, it got away. Treetop. Thorns. We have ordered to completely remove the thorns from the tower, but, the, but those roses are not the common garden thorns you are all familiar with. These thorns are tentacles that must be tackled with swords. But bear in mind that the stalk of the flowers is known as the mother plant is another story. Its structure is much more flexible than the thorns around it. So if you strike it a number of times with your blade, it will wither. This mother plant is the important one to deal with, but it's very sensitive and can detect potential threats. If you get too close to the mother plant or touch the roses around it, it will disappear underground. You need to somehow grab hold of it and stop moving. Take care as you go 
or about this perilous assignment. Let's stop. <laughs>